and thou shalt make the court of the tabernacle. For the south side southward there shall be hangings for the court of fine twined linen a hundred cubits long for one side. And the pillars thereof shall be twenty, and their sockets twenty of brass. The hooks of the pillars and their fillets shall be of silver. And likewise for the north side in length there shall be hangings a hundred cubits long, and the pillars thereof twenty, and their sockets twenty of brass, the hooks of the pillars and their fillets of silver. And for the breadth of the court on the west side shall be hangings of fifty cubits, their pillars ten, and their sockets ten. And the breadth of the court on the east side eastward shall be fifty cubits. The hangings for the one side of the gate shall be fifteen cubits, their pillars three, and their sockets three. And for the other side shall be hangings of fifteen cubits, their pillars three, and their sockets three. And for the gate of the court shall be a screen of twenty cubits of blue, and purple, and scarlet, and fine twined linen, the work of the weaver in colors, their pillars four, and their sockets four. All the pillars of the court round about shall be filleted with silver, their hooks of silver, and their sockets of brass. The length of the court shall be a hundred cubits, and the breadth fifty everywhere, and the height five cubits, of fine twined linen, and their sockets of brass. All the instruments of the tabernacle and all the service thereof, and all the pins thereof, and all the pins of the court shall be of brass. And thou shalt command the children of Israel, that they bring unto thee pure olive oil beaten for the light, to cause a lamp to burn continually. In the tent of meeting, without the veil which is before the testimony, Aaron and his sons shall set it in order, to burn from evening to morning before the Lord. It shall be a statute forever throughout their generations on the behalf of the children of Israel. And bring thou near unto thee Aaron thy brother, and his sons with him, from among the children of Israel, that they may minister unto me in the priest's office, even Aaron, Nadab, and Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar, Aaron's sons. And thou shalt make holy garments for Aaron thy brother, for splendor and for beauty. And thou shalt speak unto all that are wise-hearted, whom I have filled with the spirit of wisdom, that they make Aaron's garments to sanctify him, that he may minister unto me in the priest's office. And these are the garments which they shall make, a breastplate, and an ephod, and a robe, and a tunic of checker work, a mitre, and a girdle. And they shall make holy garments for Aaron thy brother, and his sons, that he may minister unto me in the priest's office. And they shall take the gold, and the blue, and the purple, and the scarlet, and the fine linen. And they shall make the ephod of gold, of blue, and purple, scarlet, and fine twined linen, the work of the skillful workman. It shall have two shoulder pieces joined to the two ends thereof, that it may be joined together. And the skillfully woven band, which is upon it, wherewith to gird it on, shall be like the work thereof and of the same piece, of gold, of blue, and purple, and scarlet, and fine twined linen. And thou shalt take two onyx stones, and grave on them the names of the children of Israel six of their names on the one stone, and the names of the six that remain on the other stone, according to their birth. With the work of an engraver in stone, like the engravings of a signet, shalt thou engrave the two stones, according to the names of the children of Israel. Thou shalt make them to be enclosed in settings of gold. And thou shalt put the two stones upon the shoulder pieces of the ephod, to be stones of memorial for the children of Israel. And Aaron shall bear their names before the Lord upon his two shoulders for a memorial. And thou shalt make settings of gold. And two chains of pure gold, of plated thread shalt thou make them, of wreathen work. And thou shalt put the wreathen chains on the settings. And thou shalt make a breastplate of judgment, the work of the skillful workman. Like the work of the ephod thou shalt make it, of gold, of blue, and purple, and scarlet, and fine twined linen, shalt thou make it. Four square it shall be in double, a span shall be the length thereof, and a span the breadth thereof. And thou shalt set in it settings of stones, four rows of stones, a row of carnelian, topaz, and smaragd shall be the first row. And the second row a carbuncle, a sapphire, and an emerald. 
and the third row a jacinth, an agate, and an amethyst, and the fourth row a beryl, and an onyx, and a jasper, they shall be enclosed in gold in their settings. And the stones shall be according to the names of the children of Israel, twelve, according to their names, like the engravings of a signet, every one according to his name, they shall be for the twelve tribes. And thou shalt make upon the breastplate plated chains of wreathen work of pure gold. And thou shalt make upon the breastplate two rings of gold, and shalt put the two rings on the two ends of the breastplate. And thou shalt put the two wreathen chains of gold on the two rings at the ends of the breastplate. And the other two ends of the two wreathen chains thou shalt put on the two settings, and put them on the shoulder pieces of the ephod, in the forepart thereof. And thou shalt make two rings of gold, and thou shalt put them upon the two ends of the breastplate, upon the edge thereof, which is toward the side of the ephod inward. And thou shalt make two rings of gold, and shalt put them on the two shoulder pieces of the ephod underneath, in the forepart thereof, close by the coupling thereof, above the skillfully woven band of the ephod. And they shall bind the breastplate by the rings thereof unto the rings of the ephod with a thread of blue, that it may be upon the skillfully woven band of the ephod, and that the breastplate be not loosed from the ephod. And Aaron shall bear the names of the children of Israel in the breastplate of judgment upon his heart, when he goeth in unto the holy place, for a memorial before the Lord continually. And thou shalt put in the breastplate of judgment the Urim and the Thummim, and they shall be upon Aaron's heart, when he goeth in before the Lord. And Aaron shall bear the judgment of the children of Israel upon his heart before the Lord continually. And thou shalt make the robe of the ephod all a blue, and it shall have a hole for the head in the midst thereof. It shall have a binding of woven work round about the whole of it, as it were the whole of a coat of mail, that it be not rent. And upon the skirts of it thou shalt make pomegranates of blue, and of purple, and of scarlet, round about the skirts thereof, and bells of gold between them round about. A golden bell and a pomegranate, a golden bell and a pomegranate, upon the skirts of the robe round about. And it shall be upon Aaron to minister, and the sound thereof shall be heard when he goeth in unto the holy place before the Lord, and when he cometh out, that he die not. And thou shalt make a plate of pure gold, and engrave upon it, like the engravings of a signet, holy to the Lord. And thou shalt put it on a thread of blue, and it shall be upon the mitre, upon the forefront of the mitre it shall be. And it shall be upon Aaron's forehead, and Aaron shall bear the iniquity committed in the holy things, which the children of Israel shall hallow, even in all their holy gifts, and it shall be always upon his forehead, that they may be accepted before the Lord. And thou shalt weave the tunic and checker work of fine linen, and thou shalt make a mitre of fine linen, and thou shalt make a girdle, the work of the weaver in colors. And for Aaron's sons thou shalt make tunics, and thou shalt make for them girdles, and head tires shalt thou make for them, for splendor and for beauty. And thou shalt put them upon Aaron thy brother, and upon his sons with him, and shalt anoint them, and consecrate them, and sanctify them, that they may minister unto me in the priest's office. <laughs>